Yo, what is up everyone? It is The Beast, Brian Leonard. Welcome back to the channel, The Beast On. Hey, if you see this face, uh, that one right there. Uh, what's on my finger, by the way? What is that going on there? Get some dry skin. Uh, if you see my face, if you hear my voice, subscribe to the channel. Please, please, please subscribe to the channel. I would, uh, I would greatly appreciate it. I know, uh, listen, some days videos are for you. Some days they're not for you. I'm all over the place. I pick and choose where I want to go. Some days it's sports. Some days it's not sports. But subscribe to the channel. That's the most important thing. The other important thing is I'm wearing my comfy, again, because it's the most amazing piece of clothing I own I want to get like 27 of them um, if there are two products uh, which I would love to sponsor me on this channel or anywhere else in life it would be comfy uh, and CAO cigars because as I told you the other night after the Miami FSU game my favorite cigar in the world to smoke after victory is the CAO flathead 660 feel free to send boxes and boxes of them to me uh, right now because uh, I love them Anyways, uh, before we get to any kind of takes that I have, uh, I need to switch subjects to something very important, very extremely important, and um, something a little somber and uh, solemn. So uh, please give me your und undivided attention for a moment. So um, found out yesterday, if you're watching this when I, on the day I'm making it, it's Tuesday, September 29th, found out yesterday on Monday, September 28th, um, which ironically, uh, and you'll see why, was uh, was the highest of ho holy holidays for us Jews, Yom Kippur. Um, and Yom Kippur is a holiday where we atone for our sins. And so I had a lot of sins to atone for there. And also we mourn those that have passed. And unfortunately found out yesterday morning that one of my favorite people in the world um, Jay Fig from uh, the Hawk and Crowder show lost her brother Sunday night in a hit and run accident. Um, and there's some video footage I've put it on my Instagram of the car they're looking for and all of that. But here's what I need to say. You know, a lot of times people will say, oh, that person's the best person ever. Or that person's the best person ever. Jennifer Figueroa, Jay Fig, is literally, literally uh, pulling out Chris Traeger from Parks and Rec, uh, one of the best people in the world. And um, I have a, a real emotional and, and just friendly attachment to JFig because um, I can remember it vividly. She worked at the radio station in the promotions department, you know, going out to events and putting signs up and handing out prizes and stuff like that. But she really wanted to get into the, 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 the meat and potatoes of radio and really loved what we were doing at the ticket, loved sports, um, loved all the people that, um, that worked at the ticket, and she really wanted to get into radio. And um, she came and sat in my office, and we had a long conversation, and I just fell in love with her attitude and her personality and just her being in her soul. Just, just a kind, amazing, awesome, vibrant soul of a person. And um, I really fought my tail off. I don't want to go into specifics, but there were detractors. Um, there were detractors. There, there, there were some up... There, there, Listen, in this business that I was a part of for 25 years, there's always been um, management that has maybe, if not overtly, then at least in some way, questioned whether a female could do the job in sports radio. And from the get-go, I've been against that. Uh, my whole mantra um as i've i i i, I don't want to like i'm not going to sit here and 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 blow my own horn although that would be um if you could figure out how to, never mind um but i've always been someone who has been a helper who has if there's someone that i can help advance in this industry um then i want to do it 
I always wanted to give back. I always wanted to help. I always wanted to teach. I always wanted to help promote people. Um, most people in this industry in broadcasting uh, are there to stab you in the back and keep you down. Um, I can't even begin to tell you how many times I faced that in my own career where people felt threatened by me um, and uh, tried whatever they could to, to get in my way. Um, and it's, it's obnoxious and stupid. Like, like, listen, I'll tell you what, I have very little self-confidence. Um, you know, the, the, the self-confidence that I exude as the beast is obviously, let I me mean, not to get too deep into the psychological aspects, but the self-confidence that I exude as the beast is completely making up for how little self-confidence I have uh, as Brian London. But we'll get into that in a different day. <clears throat> so um, I have very little self-confidence in real life, but I always felt like, like as just as a human, it was part of my DNA to help people, often to my detriment. I'd often get people promoted to jobs above me or better jobs than me, or, or if there was an opening somewhere, that person, I would uh, give a tip to that person to get that job where I could have kept my mouth shut and applied for it myself and gotten it. So I've always been that person, but especially when it came to, um, to, to females, because they, especially in sports radio, but just in life, get the shaft when it comes to workplace. And I always was on the lookout for females um, that could just get it done and kick ass in sports radio. Um, I really, because I really, because I, I, you know what? I just was sick of from the day I started of it just being a boys club. And it's just like, hey, hey, it's like hanging out in the locker room and we're like big gorillas and we're just going to ooh, ooh, ah, ah, our way around the locker room and scratch our nuts. Like, I hated that aspect of it. Um, and it still exists at to some point, to some degrees. Um, and I thought it was I thought it was terrible. Um, and so anytime I had a chance to, to help a young lady um, move up the ranks. I wanted to do that. Um, I really, like, my, I had this goal of putting together this all-female show at the ticket, and um, I never got the chance to do it, but, man, I, I know some kick-ass females that would blow your minds as far as their hot takes, sports knowledge, all that stuff. But back to JFig. So JFig... Jennifer Figueroa comes and sits in my office and she tells me why she wants to be a board op, a producer at the ticket, and I'm all for it. And I could just tell her passion. Her She was just a great person and just an amazing soul. You could just feel the energy and the sunshine and the vibrance when you sat and talked to her. And I had to go convince the boss that this was the right move. And basically, I was challenged on this. And kind of put my, not my, my reputation, but I, I really laid myself out there and said, boss, this is, this is a good move. This is going to work. This is going to be fine. Um, I haven't always been right in my choices. I've certainly made mistakes in people, uh, men and women that I've decided that I thought would be great additions. But this one I was sure of that JFig was going to be right for the job. <laughs> Um, and I laid myself out there and I made my case despite getting pushed back and we hired her and, um, she's just been amazing and she's grown. And here's where we get to the sad part. Cause you're like, well, deliver the baby beast. Um, unfortunately, as I said, J fig lost her brother in a hit and run on uh, Sunday night, I guess. And, um, it's devastating. Um, I know she she loved her brother so much, such a just a loving family, and um, you know I know there's a million causes out there. I know there's a lot of people in need. Hell, I'm in need, uh, to be honest. Like you know, I'm hoping to get this channel to a thousand subscribers so it can be somewhat of an income source so we can keep the electric on in the London household. But 
um, listen, she lost a member of her family, and you know the un the crappy part about the end of life is there's expenses, and in order to cover those expenses, the end of life expenses that obviously uh, came up without anyone thinking that a young vibrant kid uh her brother would be uh, killed by a hit and run driver um the unexpected nature of that um puts an amazingly tough financial burden on a family and in this time of the pandemic and the economy being in the crapper and all this stuff it's like like it's just piling on and it's 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 unbelievably horrible so uh Mark Hockman, who is um, not only is he funny and great on the radio, but he's just a great person. Um, again, there's so many shitty people in this business that when there's a great per- when there's someone that's just great, good hearted, good natured, it's like you just want to give that person a hug because they don't exist. It's like a unicorn. But Mark, Mark and Laurie Hockman, um, Laurie's his wife, are just amazing people just amazing people and mark started started a gofundme page to help jay fig and her family cover end of life expenses for her brother that was killed in a hit and run so um i'm going to include the link with this video and i hope that you'll you'll help in some way um i i did my part I gave it the old double high. Uh, so in, I don't want to get into the whole, you can go Google it, but in the Jewish religion, high, uh, which is very lucky, is 18. So a lot of times when we make donations, if you notice any kind of uh, like 18, 36, 54, 72, you get the point. Uh, any, any kind of uh, a multiple of 18 um, chances are it's from someone that's Jewish because we're trying to, to, to use um, that lucky number in 18 um, in some way, shape, or form. So I gave a derivative of 18 um, despite not having much for myself, but um, I knew that um, if I had anything, I had to help out in this instance, and I hope that you do too. I really do. Um, and not just because... Uh, I'm vouching for JFig and how awesome she is, and but just I mean, it's the right thing to do. Um, a family uses loses a son, relatively young son, um, way be way 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 before his time in a hit and run situation. It, it's just horrible. Um, so if you can help out, I'm gonna put the link to the GoFundMe in this video, and I hope that you will help out. Um, and other than that, please just be safe out there. Um, don't do anything uh, reckless and stupid. Um, have some responsibility in your life. And if you can help those in need, it's really important. Um, that'll do it for me for now. I know, not a hot sports take video, but something I needed to, uh, to get out to you all. So I will see you next time. And I will see you when I see you. And peace.